Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hello, Craig. So, after last session, I had y'all do some rolls. Well, two. I had two of you do some rolls. Um to do some researching, to do some digging. And one of you guys got a nat 20, and the other Yay. got a 24. So there's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of lore here. But first, I'm gonna do a quick check-in with Lawrence. Septus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you visit Willow in the hospital. After your first, after your first uh, uh, visit, you get that dream, the prophecy that I had you guys listen to. Do you stop visiting her? No. No, I do not. Lawrence is very quickly. Not necessarily ostracized uh, outright, considering how involved he is in so many like group sports. But you do start to realize that a lot of your teammates don't have your back as much as they should. Don't have your back as much as they should. Uh, like out, uh, like what? What sport is played in the spring? Spring. Um, I think that's track and field. Um, maybe wrestling, collegiate wrestling. Um, I can tell you, a uh, men's tennis, <laughs> soccer. Either way, you realize that people are being particularly aggressive towards you in practice, not pulling and punches uh, when they should in order to avoid major injuries, aiming for your face if you play tennis. You probably do. You did say that you play all the sports. But yeah, this all happens. Your People start asking you why you keep going to see people keep asking why you keep going to visit her keep asking why you're going to see the jinx um it's because you know you're still a person and you know uh friendship never ends you know if I left them, who would they have left? That's what friends is about. Being there when someone's at their darkest. You barely knew her. Yeah. Everyone who did know her is missing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. Why shouldn't I stand up for them? Whatever you say, dude, but I don't, but just when you end up in the hospital, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. It won't be the first time that someone warned me that I end up in the hospital, and I did. <laughs> I doubt this will matter, uh, considering that these are one-shot characters. Uh, but take a point of inspiration for Lawrence. Cool. Yeah. And now we're going to flash sideways to some of your other friends. What do, what do you call people that you trauma bonded with? Fellow victims. Fellow victims. Human fellow victims. Patriots. Yeah. I don't think friends, but depending on how. Close you. Trauma colleagues. <laughs> How you are with me. Let me close my door. Oh, you guys don't hear my dog barking as loud. 
But anyway, we're going to flash sideways to the fucking nerds. Two out of three of the nerds. Uh, are you calling who are me not calling... a nerd? Oh, are you calling are me a nerd? nerd? Are you a nerd? No. No, so it's not two You're... out of three of the nerds. It's 100% of the nerds. No, no, no. There are, there is another person here. There's a bird nerd. There's a bird. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the, I forgot about the bird nerd. The bird. Well, that, yeah, the, the bird is the nerd. The, the king of chess club. Bird, bird. Yeah. bird Who has the a crown of the throne. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to flash sideways to them. You guys fell into your research uh, day much more intensely. I mean, like I said, we both ended up getting the same total. The same total, but you got a nat 20. Yeah, that's fair. Day, you have always... You guys, both Day and Fish have had a particular thirst for knowledge. Day, however, took that to an entirely new level, literally becoming a cleric. Yeah, I um, just straight up religious of, level. Uh, yes. One of the less favored angels of Medias, but an angel of Medias nonetheless. Uh Many sources are contradictory and lead to dead ends. Regardless, though, you keep digging. You find the strings that connect every source, and you accept those and those only as fact, considering the other things you find, but not holding them as close. The things that, see, that are consistent throughout almost everything you read are that Fate's name was Ilin. They were once worshipped with Elir, the god of time before the the god of time. Uh, they were worshipped uh, together and separate from Medias before the war. Uh, during the war, Heaven's War on Earth, uh, they were willingly absorbed into Medias' pantheon, despite having a large following of their own. Uh, Ilin died close to the end of the war. But before that, they gave one last prophecy. That prophecy, however, was not recorded. By the time you even get this much information, you have, exa you have exhausted pretty much all of your sources. Elin is not a very heavily researched god. There is not a lot on them. So even the so-called experts don't know very much. Uh, some of the newer sources have theories about what they were like uh, before they were a god, but those are all theories. It's nothing concrete to support that. Despite this, despite uh, the seemingly all the seeming dead ends, there's something inside of you telling you that there is more to be learned. Do you continue? Yeah. You start flipping through a book you had poured over at least twice by now. But when you get to the middle of the book, the content is different from what you recognize. Uh, Tish? Everything I said before this are things you also would have found uh, with Day. Okay. Everything I'm saying after this are things that only Day is getting. Even though that I went in a different direction, I don't know which. Yeah, I will be giving I will be giving you separate things. Um, but for now, this is what just Day is getting. Okay. Because you were also looking into like a few uh, like different topics. When you reach the middle of this book, the content 
changes from what you remember. And you have a incredible memory. You should know exactly what is here. You should know ex- you should know exactly what to expect when you flip the page. But it's all different. And you realize that as you're flipping the pages of this book, it doesn't seem to be getting any shorter. Huh. Keep looking. And this time you're seeing copies of letters from people and address to people, names that you recognize, Bass and Akmos, Aeon and Kona. There are letters here between more than just the names I listed, but letters from gods to gods, from and to known enemies, organizing and communicating in a way that doesn't in a way that isn't for in a way that isn't notifying you of an attack in a way that isn't aggressive you start to flip through these and you see that they're working to together on something every all the gods from what you can see here all the major ones working against a common enemy And at first, you can't really tell who it is. Uh, A lot of names and titles are blocked out. But with more investigating, you look closely at how this person is referred to. It's one of the angels of the Church of Blood and Vengeance, uh, Akmos and Aeon's church. That doesn't really make sense because Akmos and Aeon are one of the, are two of the people talking about fighting against this person. A lot of uh titles and pronouns and names her their name is blacked out titles referring to them are blacked out even pronouns are blacked out but there's one line that isn't blacked out that refers to them as a goddess instead of an angel so you know this is a woman and you know that they're Uh, You know that they are referred to as both an angel and a goddess. But but after that point, you seem to hit another dead end. You start to get the feeling that you shouldn't be looking at these. That these weren't meant for you to see. But knowledge holds no secrets. Glowing white words appear in white over the blacked out boxes showing you what was supposed to be there to begin with. And there are things that look intentionally blacked out. There are uh, pages. There are some pages where the ink seems to have run and it's blurred. And there are pages where things are torn off. There are some that are clearly intentional, some that look less so. Everything sort of working to the same end of keeping you from figuring out who exactly this is. But those... That white text appears, and it is revealed that this is not just an angel that, like so many of their other ones, were absorbed by force, whose uh, uh, whose militaries were t- essentially taken over, whose followers were absorbed into the Church of Blood and Vengeance, and with that, their uh, their gods were absorbed into the pantheon as angels. You keep reading, this one is different. This angel, like Elin and Alir, joined the Church of Blood and Vengeance willingly. They had they still had the power of godhood, despite not having the title. This they're referring to the goddess of destruction, the angel of destruction whose name is Xana. X-A-N-A. Xana the warrior princess. Or in, their name is spelled uh, two different ways. X-A-N-A and Z-A-N-A. Somebody sounds familiar. 
<laughs> Not to them. Shut up, Zapdos. Um, and after that, you sort of, you flip the page again, and the book goes right back to normal. You flip the page back, and it's exactly what you expect, the book that you had originally picked up. Whatever just happened, it is done. You start looking a little bit more into it through more conventional sources with a new point of view this time. It's incredibly difficult. You have to you have to go on to some shady sites. Not the normal internet. But you do eventually find the name Xana attached to a cult that had been uh that isn't new. They've been around for a while but had been picking up activity uh, in the past couple of years, a couple of decades. <laughs> their name is Yirga, and their symbol is a broken wheel. Tish. Yep. I'm assuming Day communicates at least some of this to you. I will let Archie decide how much uh, in a second. <laughs> but as you, as Day is researching into uh, this cult and looking into this name, you start looking into uh, Willow's family history. Ever since the whole case, uh, that, ever since the whole case, uh, two years ago, a lot of, a lot of, like, news sources, it, it was pretty viral, pretty mainstream for a little bit. So a lot of this work has already been done for you. It turns out, if you go back in Willow's family history, there is a, there's a line, there is a pattern of fertility issues. Uh, most of the uh, children born in her, on her mom's side were only children. They couldn't conceive more than once. Willow's mom, specifically, Haley, uh, Haley Heostrom, formerly uh, Haley Wisp, had particular issues. Uh, she had about 10 miscarriages, two ectopic. Topic. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Two ectopic pregnancies. Willow was born, and it was a fucking miracle. She was a rainbow baby. She was seen as a gift from the goddess of life herself. Drupal rainbow all the way. <laughs> well, actually, whatever tenfold. Is. You. You rolled high enough that I will, if you have any specific questions about Willow's history, about her family history, I will let you ask them. And depending on, you got almost a 30. Uh, uh, in case we have any listeners, uh, Archie gave her character uh, guidance. So she actually got a 28 instead of a 24. So if you uh, have any specific questions, I will just let you ask them. I think when I, when I said about history, I was it was seeming I don't know if there's anything more specific, but when when I'm like hearing the prophecies, like don't trust this girl who seems to have a jinx on her. I'm wondering if there's a, a history. I think you said there's a history of miscarriages, and so I'm trying to see if there is. A source in the fa- family is like they made a deal oh. with the god of your family. That's just what I'm trying to figure out. You know, how like, what's the source of these families that love? How can you get rid of it if you can't? Like that. I'm thinking. 
if it's cursed, you know, how can we break the curse? You don't see, um, outside of like the normal, like religious uh, stuff, a lot of her, her family has been, uh, Madaist, Madaistic. I, I still haven't figured out what I want to call this religion yet. Uh, her family has been following Medias for a, for a while now. Uh, before that, like most witches, uh, they worshipped uh, the goddess, or I guess the angel of magic. With They worshipped the angel of magic somewhat independently of, but considering the angel of magic is... Uh, an angel of Avisus, not completely independently of Avisus. Uh, but outside of like normal religious things, you can't find any deals that were made, any like any curses that would have been put on them. They just have, as far as you can tell, their fertility issues are purely just a genetic thing. Mm. That's very amazing. That was my goal. If there was just something that occurs, like if due to that history. Yeah. There's something for a second. It feels like root fault. But that's what she. You're cutting out a lot. I'm sorry. I think with, I'm dealing with my flute uh, of a little bit. I think that's just basically what Thank you. Abby, I I urge you to figure out what's going on with your headphones or your laptop because you're cutting out a lot and you sound pretty quiet. Okay. Um. Do you guys do anything else? Welcome back. Sorry, it was a, yeah, it was I was trying to have my other headphones because my corded headphones, one head headbutt is uh not working now, which is uh and it's the one that I usually keep in if I only have one headphone in. No. I was trying to use my blue shoes, but apparently that's worse. Yikes. Um, but do you guys do anything else? Oh, like I said, that's my my goal was just to see if there's something that can be a result of, you know, if this is actually a curse, if she's actually a jinx, can it be broken? Is there a history of this, you know, that can be broken, you know, as well? If it's her family, you know, if it, in making deals, but. And also probably to see if there's any other if this happens or happening to any other person. I don't think you would get that on a search through her history. I don't think you would have gotten that with uh with what you were looking for. If you wanna and on top of that, uh like seeing if this it's a much more general question of like that's that's very vague it's not very specific of yeah. does like there okay so there is one thing of uh looking for like other people who might have had like incredibly deadly jinxes placed on them people who had like fate energy surrounding them um there's, it's like, it's a pretty vague question. Uh, if you want to maybe be more specific, 
And I, if you want to be more specific, I can make I can give you a roll for it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I don't you know what I don't know. So like that, that was that was my thing. I don't know if like if it'll be more specifically this town, you know, um, somebody comparable happened because I didn't know if that was like if it would be well known, you know, somebody else, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's why I asked about her family because I wasn't sure if her family had a history of jinx. You know. Yeah. Within her, within her the family, there are no like history. Like there are the people who are like in her family there is someone who was like a uh, like who had like some unlucky stuff happened to them. But that's like nothing that's like to this the comment. level of yeah. experience right now. Like her family's main her family's main thing seems to have been uh the uh, fertility issues. Like uh men women seem to have it the worst uh, because they, because like there's also a history of like ectopic, ectopic, ectopic. I don't know. I think it's ectopic, ectopic pregnancies. Uh, but men also have. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but, uh, essentially also like fertility issues where they either have trouble have trouble conceiving or just can't conceive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I can't think of anything else, but that's what her idea was to see if that this is a running theme in her family. Is it hers? Can it be broken? Because, like, she doesn't want to just fully in, like, she's not going to be around her, but she wants to see can this just go away? Is there a reason for it? Uh, is they doing anything? Um, I feel like a early thing is basically it's there's gonna be people who will listen get a ramble on this. It's the primary thing of somehow apparently I found letters from God's angels between God's and angels. It's like, oh my god, there is divine intervention. <laughs> so just so you just start uh talking to people about the fact that you experienced ascend I will just tell you outright that that was divine intervention. You feel that Tenra? Let me just double check because I have there are so many gods. I have so many gods and so many names. Yes, Tenra. So you just go so you just tell people that it just, they got visited. Uh, by Tenra. So actually, I guess on that note, you said it was just like the main pantheon, right? Not like none of the angels were mentioned. Oh uh, yeah, it was. There are some like now angels mixed in there, but okay. uh, okay. for the most part, it was like main gods. Okay, I guess big thing. What's Tenra ever meant? involved in what I read? Uh, Tenra. You saw a few letters uh from from her, yeah. Okay. It's interesting. Um like it's it's the sort it's the thing of it's like they know she should do something with this. But it's what? Uh, I will say this is after uh, Hope left to go uh, look for uh, Alina. Also, no, Alina disappeared. Uh, like, this is... I'm not sure when, when B-plot is actually... Like, I'm not sure when B-plot is happening. It might be before this. It might be after this. Uh, most likely pretty heavily before. But a plot has already started and been going on for a couple days at this point. This is happening near simultaneously as a plot. Mm -hmm. I, we're like we're caught up to that point. Yeah. But it's more so. It's it just 
it's a bunch of knowledge without any you, clear way to use it. Can you, I don't know, because, like, can you pray? I know, like, there a cert, there's a certain role in uni, but I'm just wondering, like, can you pray to your god of knowledge to guide you on how to use this knowledge? Or make a roll or something? Not, so, I do have a thing called Audrey, um, which I can be, like, basically, it's, I ask if I basically, again, I, I say what I'm trying to do, and I get if it's a good idea or a bad idea or neutral or I don't know if there's, like, probably specific roles, but I'm just saying, is there, like, even just, like, a general role or, like, saying, and I contact my god or, you know, pray, essentially, you know, to yeah. guide. Warlocks, warlocks are the ones who have, like, a direct, like, link to be, like, what's up, motherfucker? Uh, clerics are more of like they have to like cast spells and like do specific rituals yeah. to get like, really like, good contact. I would need the spell that Click has in her um, object to really get a much clearer idea. I know there's the Paladin one that has a role. Yeah, okay. there's a commune. Um, like even if it's just like a general one of the general roles, like. Um, I don't know, in history, I don't know what it would be, but, you know, if you just pray, can you get guidance, you know, whether it's, it's what you should use it for. Well, it's also, it's also kind of weird, it's like, just the thing, is like, even like, for example, I got Divine Intervention. On a very, on a mechanical level, Divine Intervention is impossible to level 10. Yeah. On, on a mechanical level, like, you can happen like, other ways. Yeah. It's like this is me as a this is me as a DM yeah. being like you got a nat twenty. There's no way for me to get you this information without a god, without yeah. like knowledge. Literally being like, hey, I don't keep secrets, motherfucker. Research. Yeah. But like the mechanical thing of clerics have like a mechanical thing where they can uh, have their god intervene. Which but is that's so hard to actually have happen. Also. Yeah, that's like. What do you have to get on the uh, on the percentage roll? It's um until level twenty, it's whatever your level is. So it goes ten percent, eleven percent, twelve percent, thirteen, fourteen, blah, 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 blah. Dang. Yeah. Um, but at level twenty, you just do it. Ah, nice. Uh, then, but then, like, when, and once it does su- succeed, um, you can't use it again for seven days. I that's still really powerful, though. Yeah, but it is. Like- you just jump from 19%. You jump from like 19% com- chance to, yeah, my God's just going to back me up on this, actually. Yeah. I mean, you are, like, level 20 is extremely powerful. <laughs> it is. It's godlike. Uh, but, um, yeah. if you want, uh, I can cut Craig here. You can think about it for a bit, and then during, like, like at the beginning of a different session, I can, like, come back to this and be like, this is what y'all are up to, if you don't know what you want to do right now. Sure. Alright. Everybody say bye to Craig. Bye, bye Craig. Craig. Bye, Craig. Oh my god, if it will let me open chat, Jesus Christ. I said no, I'm so... Oh, before I before I uh have Craig leave, uh this is just me as a person wanting this to go somewhere because I would think it would be really cute. Um I know I answered this question a long time uh like a while ago during the first one shot. Uh but Evie Yeah Prop is still approaching. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> and you know, even if you're doing research I don't think there's anything stopping you from asking. That's what, that's what I figured. I would... Because I just, like... Because I was, like... Cause the thing about it is I had thought about it even just before everything happened. So I was, like... Uh, now that everything else is happening, you know... I wasn't sure. <laughs> like, where... Like, where in the school year did we end it? Uh, you're like in like it hasn't like quite ended yet. 
but like you're still like you're getting like a little bit closer to the end of the school year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's my favorite. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to say that. So if we ever do come back to these characters to see what's going on, you know, okay. it's it's always best to ask early, figure out what's happening, a couple months in advance. Everybody say bye to Craig. Bye, Craig. Bye, Craig. Bye, Craig. Thank <laughs>